It's the last episode of the series, which means that by the end of this show, we will have found an overall winner. The person who has accumulated the most points across the whole run will lift this trophy, this majestic golden head, <laughs> as the champion of Taskmaster. Let's meet our five potential victors. They are Doc Brown, <laughs> Joe Wilkinson, John Richardson, Catherine Ryan and Richard Osman. And here, my rock of administration throughout the whole experience, it's Alex Horn. You are my rock of administration. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's... I mean, I genuinely have so much to respect for you, and I was wondering while we're here if I could just ask you a little question. If you do me the honour of... And legally, this is becoming my godfather. Is that all right? There's a... Um, <laughs> it, is, it is a proper document. Would you mind? Uh, yeah. I haven't got one. I don't really know, know what that entails. I can get you to do what I like if I sign this, right? <laughs> well, uh, more... Gifts is what I thought. <laughs> you can bring me gifts. Thank you. <laughs> it's the last show of the series, Greg. Yeah, I know. it's exciting. There's uh, two people, uh, surprisingly, in first and second. <laughs> they are Catherine Ryan and then John Richardson. There's four points separating them. The rest oh. aren't that far behind. So, um, yeah. so it literally is anyone's game. No, apart from Joe's. Yes. <laughs> I've had a lovely day. <laughs> Time for the prize task. What's the category to end the series? Well, it's quite an emotional one. This time we've asked them to bring in their best piece of memorabilia. Oh. So whoever brings the best piece of memorabilia will win the first task, and whoever wins the whole episode will go home with a lot of memorabilia. OK? Yeah. Yeah. Memorabilia. <laughs> Keepsake. Souvenirs. Tat. <laughs> <laughs> John. I've brought uh, something that I have had for about 20 years. It's one of my favourite things, and it's a Roman coin that I found when I was doing some gardening. And I just think, every time I touch it, I get genuinely excited that that was used in Roman times, is when they used most of the Roman currency, <laughs> to buy God knows what, a gourd? Yeah. Or some courgettes. <laughs> it looks like a milk bottle top. <laughs> Currently, you can get 20 uh, for eight pounds on eBay. OK, fifth place. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Joe, what piece of memorabilia have you bought? Uh, I uh, have gone a bit classic, a bit sort of go-to. I have bought my map of the Grand Union Canal. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> signed by uh, one of the lock keepers. <laughs> Did you meet the lock keeper? Yeah, yeah, I met him, yeah. What I'm was his name? A Clive Hutt. <laughs> If you were to describe Clive Hutt in three words, what would you say? Uh, asthmatic. <laughs> <laughs> to fulfil the three words, it would be asthmatic Clive Hutt, I presume. Yeah, asthmatic Clive Hutt. <laughs> Richard, uh, what did you bring in? I met one of my great sporting heroes, and I think pretty much everybody's sporting heroes. So one of the few people ever I got the autograph of. He's an uh, absolute giant of his sport. <laughs> and so... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Well, for those of us who've played at Lakeside, <laughs> that, my friend, has almost definitely secured you the top slot. Oh, that's very, that's very <laughs> kind. And he was, a, he was a gentleman as well, as you, were, as you would imagine. Alex has a fact about <laughs> Jockey Wilson. Oh, I like Jockey Wilson. He was a constant sweet eater. He refused to brush his teeth. He lost his last tooth by the age of 28. Oh, no! <laughs> All three of which one could have guessed. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine, what did you bring? Well, being a woman in comedy, I get asked, Many questions. No, but they asked me, Catherine, what's it like being part of a revolution? And so I humble myself by looking at the following coin from the legit suffrage. You see that? A lady from Dagenham gave it to me, and it's one of the many ways that they got votes for women, etc., through their rebellion. Wow. Nice. Oh. I mean, I guess it is going to reflect pretty badly on me if Jockey Wilson <laughs> beats that. <laughs> Uh, Doc, I was just going to start off by <laughs> saying that in 2003, I really wanted to uh, to have relations with Mylene Class. <laughs> um, I, I, I randomly uh, got to meet her, 
and um, she asked me to write a, a rap song for her, which I did. And oh, I got she to was going to rap it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so I got to spend, like, a week just me and my lane. It, nothing, nothing came of it, and it is what it is. However, <laughs> a couple of weeks later, <laughs> she gave me the, the rap that I'd written for her. You know, she's, a, like, a classical pianist and stuff. Yeah. And she uh, laid it out in metre oh. and then framed it and gave it to me with a little message at the bottom and a little kiss. I Saying thought, you were, weren't invited to my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was, it was very much like a really, really nice gift, but also a way of saying, please don't ever contact me again. <laughs> yeah. Ah. And but I treasure it to this day. I, tre I treasure it. Just say, Marlene Class, two teeth left. Just a fact. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. She's doing better than Jockey, then. Yeah. That was nothing. <laughs> all right, so you've got to make a decision. You've heard all five. All right, then. Great. In fifth place, and this is going to come as a little bit of a shock to some of you. I'm putting Joe's canal. <laughs> uh, really? uh, fourth place, I'm going to put uh, Mylene Class's rap. Uh, in third place, I'm putting John's Roman coin, just just because they're worth <laughs> all. Um, in second place, incredible though it may seem, <laughs> I'm putting the incredibly worthy suffragette coin. <laughs> Crushing in at number one is the signed <laughs> Jockey Wilson poster. <laughs> if you think that women are more important than Jockey Wilson, <laughs> you know, come to me. It's all right. <laughs> I tried it with words. Next will be actions. OK. <laughs> Help me. OK, well, we can do the first proper big task now. Are you ready? Oh, I really want a proper big task. OK, here it is, Greg. Just in case it's uh, your time starts now, task, I might have a little look at what we have first. Get all this shopping into the shopping trolley. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. Oh, no. OK, that's a challenge. So what I might do, should I pump up the boat before I even open up the thing? I could do that. <laughs> I'm going to look such an idiot when I open this task. <laughs> Richard has been the most cerebral, I think it's fair to say, throughout this. That's not cerebral at all. I'm going to pump up the bed before I know what to do. Would you go out each night with a condom on? Like, yeah. just... <laughs> 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 I went too. <laughs> what I was about to say was, of uh, course, it doesn't say anywhere that you need to use um, the airbed, and it's an airbed, not a boat. <laughs> so that's... Uh, <laughs> who should we start with? Should we start with Catherine? Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. OK, we'll start with Catherine. Okay. Oh, you bastard! <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. Thank you. Literally, as it has been across the series, no messing with Catherine Ryan. Bam! I get the job done as quickly as possible, even when some <laughs> takes the wheels off the shop <laughs> trolley. Incredible performance. Thank you. Vote for women, as Jockey Wilson once <laughs> <laughs> Because the wheels fell off, which was so unlucky, um, <laughs> Catherine managed to complete the task in two minutes and 44 seconds. Under three minutes. <laughs> Under four minutes. Well, feels good. Right, <laughs> right, who's next? Well, he won't like it, but we're going to have a look at Doc and we're going to have a look at John. The Chuckle Brothers. <laughs> Is that a bridge? Oh, I see, that's a... Yeah, OK. <laughs> Not bad. Oh. <laughs> I feel like 
Steve Backley. There. <laughs> oh God! His chicken has come out of the bag. Ugh. There's a bridge there as well. <laughs> Would have seen totally spontaneous. <laughs> Without you informing us, you hadn't seen two bridges. <laughs> I always thought I was cool under pressure until this series. I think if you watch me closely throughout... As I have been. ..then you know <laughs> that I make rash and awful decisions that I, <laughs> I feel the need to stick by forever. <laughs> like, I'll never go back even though the decision was terrible. I mean, Doc did get the job done, right? He finished in four minutes and 24 seconds, which is uh, almost twice as long as... Catherine. But, dude, how did I not see the bridges? That's <laughs> what... Did you call me dude? No one has ever called me dude. I'm deeply troubled by the clip. Sometimes you don't see bridges. <laughs> At least you thought to put all the things in one bag to throw them across rather than... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. This is like a focus group. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, John was also slower than Catherine. John was pi time, 3.14. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> and is that because he didn't use the bags? No, he scampered around instead of scampering across. There's a danger if I'm too close to the water, people will think I'm a vole and have me destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> and not humanely. Yeah. <laughs> um, however, as, no. as I think John probably remembers... No. As I think no. John probably... No. Hang on. There was a slight... <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> there was a slight... No. <laughs> <laughs> there was one little bit at the end <laughs> when John walked away we couldn't help noticing. <laughs> Thanks, John. Absolute pleasure. Oh. <sighs> Pockets oh. full of sponges. You didn't put everything in the trolley. Uh, no, I, I put your sponges in the trolley and I always carry two sponges. <laughs> <laughs> so, does that, what's that mean? John's null and void? Yeah, so Doc is suddenly uh, not so bad. Oh, not so yeah. bad, even though you can't see bridges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, although I did... There's one thing. When Doc had finished, we did have a closer look at the river. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I took my litter with me. <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? Both both shafted, I guess, right? Well, it's, it's exactly your decision to make. Both shafted. <laughs> <laughs> right, Richard and Joe's trolley dash is still to come after the break. See you then. <laughs> Master, we have four comedians and television personality Richard Osman <laughs> competing not just for a couple of dirty old coins but for the Taskmaster trophy. <laughs> Alex, trolleys, right? Right, Greg, trolleys. And despite the simplicity of the task, both John and Doc fail to get all their items into the trolley, which means Catherine, the series leader, is leading this task as well. She completes it in two minutes 44. Uh, it's just Joe and Richard to see. You ready? Yes! <laughs> Good. Here they are. I could just walk across that bridge, but this will be quicker. Fastest time starts now. Wheels. I 
I do. Is it all in the trolley? Yeah. I'm glad I blew the thing up. <laughs> as we're speaking as a, an overly tall gentleman, we're often expected to be gentle and yeah. kind, so it's so nice to see one of us <laughs> really letting loose, man. <laughs> it was fun. Do you know what? It wasn't one of the kind of modern trolleys, though. It was, probably, it was heavy. It was amazing when you were actually there, cos he got quite a lot of attention people saying, there's Richard Osman. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 Uh, let's talk about Joe. Yeah, well, Speedy. I mean, there's the most yeah. action we've seen him partaking. Yeah, rivers don't worry me. <laughs> <laughs> what worries you, Joe? Uh, horses and darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I think this must be Joe's most uh, exciting performance so far, isn't it? Well, he has been. I mean, it's, it's very tight. So Richard uh, took <laughs> 1 minute 59. What? 1 minute 59. Oh. Oh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's including 10 seconds of rolling trousers yeah. up, which is interesting because Joe took one minute 52. Oh. Oh. Can you let me know what the scores are, please, Alex? OK, it's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting. There's, uh, five people competing, but one in the lead. Mr Richard Osman is oh. in first place. Uh -huh. Yes! Give us another task, then, Alex. Right, OK, this one is a team task. <laughs> a potato? Potatoes. <clears throat> Here we go. I'll open it, you read it. Oh, oh that's a nice idea. <laughs> <laughs> Make the best stop-motion film starring this potato. You have one hour. Your time starts now. Should we oh. change the potato to have, like, a face? Or should we use the potato to make, like, different little guys to be in the film? Well, I mean, the, the options are endless, but I don't know anything about animation. Do you have much experience of the stop-motion film industry? No, that's where you take two pictures. Yeah. And then, it, and then that's stop-motion. That's the film. Yeah, just the two. Two pictures, We're not, yeah. not going to need an hour for this. We're looking for about 800 pictures. That'll make... 800? Eight hundred. That'll make... Your mind. That'll make a 30-second <laughs> hour. Animation's really hard. It is, isn't it? So I think a pun title of yeah, like yeah. a scary Yeah, yeah. OK, film. so what's Bigfoot? Uh, um, hateful Potato. Night of the Living Spot. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mash in the Attic. <laughs> <laughs> and we just have a mouth that we can stick on. Yeah! Loads of different yeah. mouths. No, it just goes like that, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so should we give it eyes or something? Yeah. Is that, that looks clearly like a potato masher, doesn't it? Oh, it does yeah. Like... Oh, a potato masher. I see. But it's like an evil, evil one. Yeah. You know? That's why he's wearing a white suit. Now moving back where you were. Anakin. Anakin. It's a lot easier than I imagined. Yeah, leave it at that. First, the potato is happy, and then he needs to be a bit confused, like, hmm? And then he needs to be like, wah! Done. He's a wrap, I think. Congratulations. Well done. Relax. That's a wrap, guys. Oh, we still need a title. I mean, you're not going to get better than Mash in the Attic. <laughs> Let's just clear up for uh, incredibly stupid people what stop motion is, Alex. Stop motion is things like Morph, uh, Wallace and Gromit, a lot of P Poirot. You know, Poirot. it's that, it's that <laughs> genre. It's that genre. <laughs> Let's have a look at this nonsense. Okay. Do, you start, do you want to start with the boy and his dad, Richard and Richard's son? Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here they are. <laughs>
not mistaken, a mutant potato who was living underground mm. sensed that a human was harming one of his kind, <laughs> uh, approached the house, successfully managed to wrestle the potato peeler out of the human's hand, <laughs> murdered him, and then, in a chilling climax, we see the children of the mutant yes. potato coming out to exact their revenge on all of mankind. <laughs> Pretty much exactly that. Other than, I don't know if the intentions were quite so awful, I think what happened was the potato was trying to make friends with us, but the first <laughs> human it saw was Alex, who was killing a potato, and so Alex, unfortunately, essentially triggered the end of the world. Mm. <laughs> very, very good to work with. We told him when he opened the door to look left and right, and he did up. Threw of his own accord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just threw that in Absolutely for free. threw it in. You're a clever little godson, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Give him a little tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Doc, and Catherine stop motion film to see. Worth returning for, probably. See you after the break. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to the Taskmaster series finale with a canal map and a poster of Jockey Wilson awaiting the winner. <laughs> Emotions are running pretty high. What were we doing, Alex? Well, Greg, dear, before the break, we were enjoying <laughs> some stop-motion animation. Richard and John's 28 Days Tater went down... It genuinely went down pretty well. It did. Uh, better than we thought when we wrote this. <laughs> <laughs> Way better. We are yet to see Joe, Catherine and Doc's short film. Here it is. <laughs> La 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 la. Walking down the corridor. <laughs> Stay them skirting boots. Sit down. <laughs> ah, Mr. Spud. Um, you're a knob, mate. <laughs> As always, you're in the right place at the right time, Mr. Spud. Huh? I know you don't require one of these martinis I have here. Uh, yeah, if you like. <laughs> because you are already smashed! Oh, Lord. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> smashed! <laughs> it's, a, it's a pun, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, it's a, it's a pun. Oh, piss off. <laughs> Never mind. Ugh, I got him. <laughs> Pretty sweet Bond parody up until the point that James Bond, the potato, <laughs> said, Now nah, you're a knob, mate. <laughs> that was all improvised. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Yeah. A little fact, they did take pretty much exactly 800 pictures. Uh, John and Richard took 1,463 pictures. Wow. That was why it was, so, it was a much longer work. That one was so jerky, though. Like, the movement of our potato is crazy smooth. <laughs> <laughs> You don't see, like, one tiny hand and one massive hand constantly appearing. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, man, that potato movement was crazy smooth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that might have won you. <laughs> well, hang on a minute. You know, I, I just want to see good cinema stuff. For me, it's mm. not about slagging off other people's work. <laughs> <laughs> I did wonder about the narrative of the potato who, for no reason, gets trod on by a high heel again. Yeah, what was that about? But, that I mean, weird. James Bond films are often characterised mm. by a preposterous mm. ending, aren't they? No, no, yeah, but that's not... That just didn't make any sense. There's no, there no <laughs> narrative arc whatsoever. A feminist arc. Mm. I will be the first female potato James Bond. Yeah. <laughs> a feminist, I mean, a feminist arc is, of course, what Noah's wife... That's what she... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bond should die with all the sexual harassment he does. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't disagree with that, but it's just not in the, <laughs> not in the spirit of the film. Is it? I thought that um, both of the films were superb, but I think the 28 Days Tater had the edge. Uh, three points for all the team members in that group, two points for all the team members in oh. the Bond group. Oh, Done. OK, it's time for the last pre-recorded task of the entire series. Make it a good one. I will, I really will. Yeah. We're, going to, uh, we're going to take it to the bridge. Hey. Nice. Hello there. Hi, John. Hello there. This is lovely. Oh. I hope I don't have to make anything. I'm rubbish at making things. Make a bridge over the river using only items on this table. Highest self-supporting bridge wins. Highest. The bridge alone must support the potato. Uh, the bridge 
alone must support the pony. Does it definitely say pony? No. Potato. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be pony, wouldn't you? You must not touch the taskmaster's house. You have 20 minutes, your time starts now. That's not a whole lot of time. All I can use is what's on this table, right? Anything on this table, Doc. OK. That's real water. That's quite cool, isn't it? It's got to support a potato. It's quite weighty. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is the laziest bit of reading I've seen all series. <laughs> <laughs> you got to the PO and thought, F it, pony, right? <laughs> well... Most people would have guessed pony. Don't have to guess. It's, it's... <laughs> so, uh, I mean, you've got a sort of inbuilt, broken, predictive text. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have to admit, I jumped ahead. Let's start with the hipsters. OK, Catherine, John and Doc. Here we go. Do you know what that means? Debajo de la mesa? Yes, I do. Good. OK, self-supporting bridge over the river. Don't touch the house. Potato. How many straws does it take to support a potato? That age-old question. <laughs> That's quite a light potato, he says now. I know that the strongest shape is a triangle. What's the strongest shape? It's an arch, isn't it? Strong. What does this do? Pointless feature. much weightier than I, I first gave it credit for. I think I might chew these to make them sticky. It's gross, isn't it? I don't like chewing gum. I don't like it when it comes out of people's mouths. <laughs> Interested to see who goes for the uh, chewing gums. Oh, very minty. <laughs> it's so intense that my eyes are worrying. Yeah, that's going to be fine. OK, just speed it up, maybe. I don't think people know that I'm this smart, you know? That is disgusting. Sorry, guys. Ooh, I don't like touching it, even though it's my mouth. <laughs> Such a <laughs> idea. Lovely. Now, how do we make that bigger? <laughs> so precarious. <laughs> Understand. <laughs> so <we're laughs> well, I'll measure it from the distance from the grass, first of all. I'm persevering with this. This is hooves. Hooves as a kind of thing. <laughs> No. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. Thanks. Great triangles. See you later. In all great engineering meetings around the world, if, if the task is bridge, the first building material that the engineers suggest, rubber. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you know about this, but I have an education in urban and city planning. Oh. And I learned about triangles. You've got, you've got bad A-levels too, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me too. And you know, you, know I when just you lost that like... task, Catherine? You lost it in that moment where you said, people aren't ready for how smart I really am. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just didn't have enough triangles. It looked great. It looked amazing. It, looked nice. it did look good. I, I thought, see it. I thought I it was going to hold It did look lovely. Awesome. Let's, have a, let's have a look at the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, the materials were not yeah. there unless you want to use defenseless mammals. Yeah. But give me a lot of straws and I will blow your mind with triangles. I'm very frustrated to have asked if you knew what tobacco de la Mesa means. Have you worked it out now? Yeah, not followed through on that. What does it mean, John? I think it means under the table. <gasps> yeah, and you also pressed a button. And I then... did press a button and do you want to say see what, what, the... a, what a oh, pointless you button. Are. Yeah, do you want to see what the button does, John? Oh, no, not now. I would have. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's have a look. See what the button does. What does this do? 
pointless feature. How many minutes? Uh, you've got three minutes, 15. There's no reason why I'm disrespecting animals by doing this. Do you know what that means? Debajo de la mesa? Yes, I do. Good. You know my eyesight is affected around bridges. You can't... <laughs> <laughs> That's outrageous. Well, it's just we thought, you know, straws and rubber bands are useless, so we thought we'd put some wood... What oh. was written on the task, though? Cos I think... Didn't the task say oh. you can only use what's on the table? It did say what's yeah. on the table. It's attached to we the table, isn't it? Question, Those this. bits yeah. underneath. Yeah. Also, we did get in touch with uh, Susie Dent. Oh. <laughs> uh, and we know from a uh, previous episode in the series how much you respect her opinion. Yeah. Uh, on uh, means to make physical contact, to be in physical contact with. According to wow. Dent. That's the first meaning of on. Joe's been very quiet. That's because I absolutely nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> the only skill I had coming into this was that I can speak a bit of Spanish. Yeah. And I tra <laughs> translated it in my head and thought, no, it's just a boat called under the table. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you were so close to looking under the table. Also, you're very nearly under the table anyway. I mean, if. <laughs> <laughs> you still did get a high bridge. We can see your bridge. I've, do you want it in metric or the other one in fruit pastels? Like? In kilometres. <laughs> that meant his ends up as 11.4 FPs, fruit pastels. And uh, <laughs> they are the same as centimetres. Whereas Doctor was exactly 10 FPs. Mm. Yeah. So, John, you are in the lead. Uh, Catherine's was one millimetre, the width of a rub rubber band. <laughs> <laughs> Right, <laughs> we're going to leave Joe and Richard's bridge building until after the break. Join us then for the final part of the show where there'll be one last live task plus the crowning of our overall series winner. Exciting, isn't it? See you then. <laughs> Part of the final episode of this series of Taskmaster. Miley and Class has signed a bit of paper, and these guys can't wait to win it. And who <laughs> is going to go home tonight as series champion? We'll find out soon. But first, back to business. Alex? Yes, Craig. Well, we've been watching people build a bridge for a potato, and for once, John Richardson is tallest with a height of 11.4 centimetres. <laughs> but we haven't seen Joe or Richard yet, and we haven't found out if either of them have used any of the equipment we hid around the room. Let's find out. Uh, OK, this is engineering, then, isn't it? This is the sort of thing where you have to be good at science at school, right? We didn't do engineering at my school. What did you do? We did a lot of woodwork. Would you like some wood? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I do not know what to do. So I assume some clever people would build a house of cards or something, wouldn't they? Ah, ah. Right, we're off. OK, now we're building some structures. Yeah, these are the future. Really confident. Just sort of show going now. I can move the um, canal boat, right? Yes. Oh, it's so slow. Look how slow it is. This is going to take me forever. Do the noise again. <laughs> OK, there's a floor. Lost confidence again. <laughs> Really, I'm so... I'm stressed. I'm really stressed. I can't help thinking there's a clever way of doing this. <laughs> this is really difficult if you're quite thick, which, with respect, I am. I don't know... I don't know how engineers do it. This is almost impossible. How do you do that arch? Oh, <laughs> I'm excited. There's something in this. There's strength there now. There's strength there. How do we use that? <laughs> There's strength in arches. There is strength in arches. <laughs> there is strength in 
arches. Am I missing anything here on this um, table that can be taken up or taken off? Uh, 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 uh. I'm properly looking forward to seeing how people have done this. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Thank you, Richard. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> wow, some big shocks. Some very big shocks there. Richard Osborne, the master of logic normally. There's got to be a clever way around this. Just chuck it all in the river, right? <laughs> if there's one thing we all know about spaghetti, it's that it's stronger wet. <laughs> I mean, Richard did end up with an all right bridge. We can see it. it's symmetrical. Yeah, it's no. quite satisfying. It's eight <laughs> centimetres high. Yeah, that's that's all good. But I mean, let's talk about the strength in arches. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think uh, you're uh, destined to release a fragrance called that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just whisper strength in arches down that camera for me. Strength in arches. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Really beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I thought it was subtle, patient, beautiful. How tall was it, though? Well, Richard's was eight centimetres, Doc's ten, John's eleven. I oh, don't let mine be. Joe's was nine. Oh! oh. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh. Unbelievable. I just think your face, really? though, when you said that, I, I would have adopted you. In yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we all, we all wanted to hold you then. It was like being one of those kids at school that, like, you know, did exams and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, uh, can you tell me the score updates? Well, Catherine came last in that one. Catherine came last by a long way. Then it was Richard, Joe, then Doc, and John won that task. Congratulations. <laughs> What's that done to our scoreboard? Catherine, the series leader, has slipped back into second last place. What? Richard, however, is in first place in this episode so far. <laughs> We're still going to find out not only who's won the show, but also who will go home with the Taskmaster Trophy. To get those results, we need one more tussle. Will you all please make your way to the stage one last time for the final task of the series? <laughs> this will already look special. Richard, at last it's your turn. Will you read out tonight's oh, final task? Hello, Richard. Hello, Alex. All right, dude. It's the first time I've ever got to... Put on a pair of food handling gloves, eat a whole banana, correctly put on a tie, and clap as many times as possible. All tasks must be completed within 100 seconds. Most claps wins. Uh, I sense an objection coming from Catherine. What the f <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Great this, reading. No, I didn't what? listen to the last bit, uh -oh. because this is an example of the type of top-down misogyny that keeps people like me <laughs> losing! <laughs> I don't know how to react to that. <laughs> Shut up! I'll tell you the answer. Do you not know how to put a tie on? Is that... No! Let's all put on a tampon I'll and then we'll see. <laughs> I'll put your tie on if you eat my banana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm married, though, so that, uh, that's where it ends. That's a court case that I'm prepared to witness for. <laughs> Catherine might have a point. I'm just thinking if there's something... Uh... Hold on, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to read all the words here. I'm going to move one comma and we'll see if we can sort this out. Let's go. OK. Put on a pair of food handling gloves, eat a whole banana correctly, <laughs> put on a tie and, <laughs> and clap as many times as possible. Done. Surely. I feel now that I've ruined the task. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Not at all. Now we see the trouble that coin has got us into, don't we? <laughs> 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 OK, good luck. You've got 100 seconds. Your time starts... <laughs> one glove on, one glove on. Two gloves on! Two gloves on! <laughs> Go on, Chuck. That's it. Try it. <laughs> That's a tie, though, <laughs> Remember, you've only got to put the tie on. No one has clapped yet. No one started clapping. <laughs> he's off. He's off. He's off. 
Are they on? Are these on? Incredible performance all round. Let's bring them down and work out how that's affected the final scores, Alex. Well done, everybody. <laughs> and now, by some conclusion, Alex, mm. who clapped the least? Oh, great question. Um, <laughs> I mean, despite clapping nearly twice every second uh, with 192 claps, John Richardson clapped the least. Jeez. Oh. Oh. Surprising. I just didn't think you'd count the claps. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, we literally had five people with clickers, one focusing on each of you. Oh, cool. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I, I'm, yeah, I stopped at one point to do my tie up properly because <laughs> I, I know not everyone wears a tie, but I think mm. it's important that those who do do it with some. Well, you, you didn't have to wear it correctly, you just had to eat the banana correctly. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm afraid that means that the hero of this episode, so nearly winning his first. Episode was disqualified because he didn't eat his banana correctly. In fact, he didn't eat his banana. He is allergic to bananas, though. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're sort of doing it for uh, that large body of people who believe that people with food allergies just making it up. <laughs> <laughs> of which I count myself a proud member. <laughs> All right, I'll eat a banana. You check my stool tomorrow. <laughs> Well, he didn't, he didn't clap the most. He didn't clap the most anyway. But, All right, um, well... He, <laughs> <laughs> he clapped the second most, so it was John oh. with 192, and then it was Catherine Ryan with 221. Joe Wilkinson, 234. Dot Brown clapped 237 times, which means Richard Osman, 249 claps. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Let's find out who's going home with the canal map. The winner is obviously Mr Richard Osman. <laughs> there it is. Richard Osman is the winner. Please, Richard, go and enjoy your prizes. Thank you. Before we find out the series winner, what have we learned today? Well, folks, what we've learned is, no matter what you've done, how long you've lived, or who you know, sometimes you just can't see bridges. <laughs> Let's hear it once more for tonight's winner, Mr Richard Osman. <laughs> I'm afraid you're not done here yet. There's one incredibly important thing left to do. Alex has been adding up everyone's points throughout the series, and so finally, the time has come to reveal who is the overall winner and to present them with this beautiful Taskmaster trophy. Ooh. Alex, over to you, please. The winner of Taskmaster Series 2 was... Catherine Ryan! <laughs> series. Thank you, folks, and good night. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.